Today's comments over coffee is, well, actually it's comments over green tea because there's a small possibility that I may be drinking too much coffee. So it's green tea today, but today's comments over green tea is a little bit more career-based and less study-based, although it's kind of life-based. So as you probably know, I work with both students and young professionals. And one of the things I feel we don't do enough is say good stuff about other people to them. This may sound a little bit strange, but there's a few reasons why I think this is quite important for, for your career purposes, for your networking. And the other is be part of making the world a better place, quite frankly. <laughs> Okay, so let me talk about the career stuff. What am I talking about? Um, we interact with people both work-wise and non-work-wise on, on a constant basis. And there's pretty much no one out there who doesn't like to hear some kind of validation about what they do, what they say, what they wear even. Everyone likes to hear positive stuff about themselves and somehow we're more comfortable complaining about stuff than complimenting people. So we may think, oh, I really like that job that she did, or I really like that thing that he did, but somehow we're uncomfortable saying it to that person and going, wow, that's great. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One, it's just not something we really do. For some reason, we kind of have a feeling that it's a little lame or unnecessary, or maybe that the person doesn't really care. Why should they care what we think anyway? Maybe it's going to come across as condescending. So there's a couple of reasons that we may not do it. And possibly we just haven't actually thought about it. In, in the world we live in, we're so used to the stress and the, the responsibilities and, and just so much obligations. We're very used to thinking about stuff from our perspective, which is... I need this, I need that, I need to do this, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, someone expects something from me. So it's not actually very often that we think about things from another person's perspective where we go, how do they feel about that thing? They worked really hard on that thing and that's pretty cool. How would they feel or how would I feel if I was them? It sounds so ridiculous, but it's kind of true. When you start thinking about what other people are doing and how it would feel if you were them, hearing, hey, good job, or that's great, or I really like the way that you did that. It's not condescending. When people give us a compliment, we like it. It's great to hear that the work that you're doing is validated or people like it. Or And somehow we're really good at lurking in the background. And the only time we step forward is when we go, that's not great. I don't like that. Why did you do that? Or we just keep quiet. And <laughs> we just keep quiet entirely. In terms of career-wise and networking, we underestimate the, the impact of creating relationships with the people we work with. If you're doing articles and you're in first year articles, for example, take a look at your fellow first year article clerks. Where are they going to be in 10 years time? Where are you going to be in five, 10 years time? None of us really know, right? But the person sitting next to you, your, one of your fellow first year clerks may be the CFO of some list, listed company and five, six years down the line, you might be looking for a job. And if you're talking to them, if you're interacting with them on a professional basis, if you're connected with them, even on LinkedIn, for example, it opens the door to more opportunities because if that person's looking for, hey, we need a, an investment partner, we need a CEO, we need a CFO, we need a financial director, we need a consultant, we need to hire someone, some company to do this, would they rather employ someone that they've never met before, know nothing about, or someone that they've worked with in the past, they know their work, and they also stand out as a positive person. And we don't even have to say friendly, but we sort of call it amicable, which is easy enough to get along with and leaves you with a positive feeling. So you don't have to be friendly. I'm not expecting you to go out for drinks with this person or make social. It's not where I'm going at all. But it's very valuable to create and foster an impression of positivity and of giving validation to others and thinking of other people in the workplace. You don't want to wait until that person is the CFO and you haven't spoken to them in 10 years and they go, oh, hey, remember me, right? It's not quite the same thing. When we're still early on in our career, we tend to not really think about the fact that the students around us and first year clerks and second year clerks, managers or whatever, where are they going to be in 10 years? Where are you going to be in 10 years? You might be looking for someone to employ and you're going, you know, there was this person that was really good at tax who I did articles with. I wonder what they're up to right now. So this conversation goes in both directions, but we underestimate the percentage of high level executive work investments positions are offered to people within networks as opposed to 
cold calling recruitment agents. It makes perfect sense, but we don't actively work on this. And a really good way to start working on this is to be the type of person who is known for saying nice things. It's such a simple thing, but it sets you apart. If there's 10 people in a room and I'm looking to promote one of them and all these 10 people have similar performance, similar experience, et cetera, who am I going to promote? Generally, the first person that springs to mind or the person that makes the most positive impression on me will be someone that I have a positive connection with who I feel is amicable. And it's very hard not to stand out if you're the kind of person who gives off those vibes and who is kind of known for being positive and saying nice things about other people. It's hard for you not to stand out and it creates a really positive impression with those around you, those above you, those below you. So it's a really smart habit networking wise to develop the skill of saying, well, I really like that. I saw that. I really like that. And you know, for me as a woman, I love shoes. If someone compliments my shoes, I feel good about that. The fact that we're in a workplace doesn't change that. Somehow, yeah, obviously, like between male and female, that can start seeming a little inappropriate. But if one of my female colleagues comes to me and goes, wow, I really like, oh, I love your shoes. I'm really happy about that because I love my shoes too. And it's really nice to know that someone else likes them. So other people would be in the same position. And it's just that small type of thing that it doesn't take a lot. It doesn't cost anything. But it's just that impression of leaving someone with a little bit of a warm, fuzzy feeling that makes them associate you with a little bit of a warm, fuzzy feeling, which is nothing but positive, right? Not to mention the fact that I think it would be really great if more people actively created positivity. As we know, like there's so much negativity and there's so many challenges and there's so many stresses, et cetera, et cetera. So it would be really great to put more positivity out there. But I think in terms of the value and the benefit for ourselves, we can add a lot of value to our career by something as simple as giving people compliments. I know an accountant who absolutely loves spreadsheets. And as weird as it sounds, one of the best compliments you can give him is, like, wow, I really love your spreadsheet. <laughs> he gets so excited about that. And it actually depresses him when he spends a lot of time on a spreadsheet and nobody appreciates the amount of work and fancy smart stuff that he's done in his spreadsheet. So when he does create a spreadsheet and, and, and you go through it, you're going to make his day. You go, wow, that's a really cool spreadsheet. As, as ridiculous as it sounds, everyone likes being complimented and standing out in the workplace, being a positive force, being amicable. Again, I'm not saying you have to be friends. I'm not saying you've got to really, really like the person, but being positive in terms of making people feel good about themselves cannot be underestimated as a valuable networking tool. Let people know if you like their stuff. And this relates to, to loads of stuff outside the workplace. When I read a really great book, I've started creating the habit of emailing the author. It sounds so weird and it never actually occurred to me because it's such a far gap between myself and a famous author. But when I read a really great book, I've now developed the habit of emailing the author and saying, really loved your book. I generally have to hunt the email down. <laughs> they're unlikely to put it, but I generally can't find that. I don't know whether they're going to read the email. The likelihood of them responding is fairly slim, but on the off chance that they do read the email, I think it's great if you have written a book to get actual personal feedback from someone going, hey, I really loved your book. And it, you know, it, it meant something to me and I got X, Y, Z out of it. And interestingly, I have got a bunch of responses from authors that I really never expected to, that are really famous, that actually did respond and went, wow, thanks for the email. That was, that was really great. And so something as stupid as, as one person in all the millions reading their book, sending them an email made them feel happy. We don't think about that. But it's a really good way of creating connections, a really good way of leaving the world a more positive place, and a really good way of networking that's free, easy, and doesn't require you to have experience, qualifications, and like a fancy job title to do. So task for the day, find something to compliment someone else about. It's weird. It's uncomfortable. It does, it does feel a little strange. Practice it, work on it, but it's a really great skill to have.